In this tutorial, for new Blender users, I'll show you how to set up your uh, materials in advance. Colors, reflection, you know, mirroring, things of that nature. And it is, it'll help you kind of optimize your uh, work process as you go. This is a fairly short tutorial. So here's a quick just rendering of a little icosphere and it's being reflected in this uh, scene like that. It's got a couple lights, a little yellowish light and a bluish green light like that. So this is the rendered image. I'll just escape this real quick and show you the scene. Here it is like this. One thing I have is I have a, the camera back here is connected to the object. You probably can't see but there's a dark blue line that's connected to the sphere. That's way when I'm looking at it from above with the 7 key like this and I'll press T to get rid of this window. I'll move this over here so I have two windows. I'll press zero over in this window so I'm looking at the camera at the same time. So if I have if I take press G here and I move it around you can see I can point at the scene like this so it kinda gives me an idea of how I want to look at the scene like that for when I render it. So if I F12 and render it there it is from a different perspective like that. Well okay that's just a an aside. So but let's get back to the lesson in question which is the materials. So I have a kind of a pinkish red color here in this blue surface. So let's go look at the colors over here in the material tab. So for the material up here this is just set says it's it's this pinkish red color it's I don't think I've really set anything else inside this. I think everything else is just the default value when I had set it. But I really wanted to be into the habit of clicking in here when I make the material and call it like pinkish red because that's kind of what it reminds me of pinkish red color so maybe I want another material let me hit that button there and it says pinkish red 01 but I said nah forget that I'll make it I'll make it green and then down here I'll specify that as green and it changes it to green alright but if I want it well let's even make another one. Let's make something else and I'm going to call this one blue like this and I'll change this color to blue and we'll just do a few more while we're at it and we'll make another one and we'll call it yellow and we'll make that one yellow. Alright so we have these four different colors for here so I can experiment as I go just by having this without now having to go back and change the color every time if I render it with F12 I go well okay there's that and the green you can see the green light that's in the scene is affecting it that way so that doesn't really work that well for me in fact you can see by a click on that light and you can see there's a bluish green light for that color and I right click on that and that light was yellow here but we'll get back to this object here and you notice it's yellow well now just by clicking this button right here here's other materials that are in the scene here's the pinkish red material and it's instantly set so I can identify it that way and here's the green material and then here's the blue material these were the others just called material one that I wasn't using or that I was had done something with before I don't recall but so just by setting it that way so you have them in advance ready to go let me hit F12 and render that and it's like okay that's not bad and then you can do the same thing with the surface in fact for the surface let's do something this is kind of a light blue reflective so I'll call it you know light blue reflective like this and then maybe for uh, the next one I'll make another one and I'll call it you know light green reflective but and I'll make that like a light green like this but in, instead of just making that color green I'll come down here whereas I, I'll show you where I set the mirroring all that's set in here is I this was down like this I set the mirror in here and I had set the reflectivity up to this so maybe for the light green we'll crank it up even higher like that so now I've set the value for that green to have a higher reflectivity than the blue and we can what was that set at that set at 0.926 and then if I just change it over to light blue reflective you can see it's set at 0.752 so they're a little bit different so I grab this light green reflective and we'll 
edit with, will render that. Okay, so we have that like that. And then maybe in this case, th see how that light is quite diffuse in there? Well, I want a kind of a different thing. So I'm going to change the, I'm going to crank up the specularity a little bit. And I'm going to crank up this hardness value as well. And we'll re-render it, F12. And then you can see the spot is a little bit sharper on the scene. In fact, I'm even going to crank it even more. Crank that. Let's see, F12. There we go. That's maybe more of my liking. But that kind of gives you an idea of it's easier sometimes if when you start you don't just pick a color per object. You just come in here in advance and just crank up this thing like this and start cranking out different materials. I just put in one through six like that and then uh, change it and have them in there and then just when you need them you just scroll through the list. Uh, see I don't see my well, you can either come down here and scroll mouse down here, or you can come up here and just start typing like LI, and it'll find it by alphabetical order. Then you can find it there in case you have a huge list of colors and lights and things of that nature. All right. Well, hopefully that makes your work a little bit easier. And that's it for this lesson, and I'll see you in the next lesson.